Now, Southampton have had their own money worries in recent seasons, but their fans have been cock-a-hoop at rivals Portsmouth teetering on the brink. Could the Premier League side stay afloat in the cup? Commentary at St Mary's from Kevin Gallagher and Clyde Tilsley. Bassiness. Trying to pick an almost impossible pass for O'Hara. There's just no time for that. Lalana. Got Lambert to his left. Couple Wago waits in the penalty area. Lambert crosses. Wago's onside. Terrific save by James. No flag. Wonderful stop by the England goalkeeper, but what a chance for Andai Papawago. The space here for Mullins. O'Hara. Oh, the away is by Perry. Wago's lost it to Diop, and it's hit by O'Hara, and it's a fantastic save by Davis. Wonderful strike from range by Jamie O'Hara. By the stop of Kelvin Davis. Well, I mean, he's more right to hit this, has he? But he sees it. Chidey's coming out first time, but what a strike! But look at that, he's getting a little bit straight. Gives Davis that chance to stretch his six foot plus frame. Harrison can save the corner. David James has lost it! Oh, what an opportunity! Oh. Jade, he couldn't take it, he was as surprised as everybody that David James made such a basic error. Antonio holding off Bassinas. This is a good break by Antonio, and he's got support here. Over the head of Lambert, Lallana, good save by James! And hooked away by Wilson. I say a good save, Kevin Gallagher, it was better than that. Oh, that is unbelievable. That's top draw, world class goalkeeper. In depth, into the path of Yedda. It'll come for attacker, and now for a Wusu Abey! It pours with lead! The substitute scores his first ever goal for Portsmouth. Well, what can you say? You know, this is about taking your chances. When you do get a chance, he's sweeped across, but how nonchalant does he just do it? He doesn't go for a strike, he goes for placement. And when it comes across to him, he just shifts it left on his right foot. And a nice little bend and place shot past Kelvin Davis. You want to have to pay by the letter for a replica shirt with his name on the back. Quincy Owusu Abeyi. Harding with the free kick. Towards Lambert!
towards Jaidi. Put away by O'Hara, and Dindan will chase this down. Perry's got to win it and does. O'Hara, though, with a beautifully guarded ball into the path of Bell Hatch, and a chance for Portsmouth to seal it here. Bell Hatch, 3 1. Smiles on Portsmouth faces. There haven't been too many of those in the last few weeks. But nothing, nothing could have given this club, this team, a greater tonic than victory at Southampton. You know, he's having a look up. He didn't look the, the most confident. He's having looks to see if he can play it. But what it's done is it's shifted the goalkeeper off his line. Just there, and there you go, look. It's opened the corner up for him to roll it in. O'Hara again coming out with the ball. It's another Portsmouth counter-attack, and it's Bell Hatch on the move again. And it's four against three here momentarily. Bell Hatch with the cross, Owusu Bay, O'Hara, four for Portsmouth! Devastating break! Jamie O'Hara! They can hardly believe it. It has been an unbelievable week for Portsmouth, one way or another. But it has just gone into the realms of fantasy in the wildest dreams. They couldn't have hoped to score four here today. I mean, we had to give something back to the fans today because, uh, you know, it's been a bit of a dire season for us. But, uh, you know, today we've, uh, you know, you can hear the, the fans out there have been fantastic all season and uh, it's good to give something back. We certainly had uh, opportunities, especially in the first half when we should have really took a lead. Um, David James had some terrific saves today. But we knew uh, we was going to be in danger if the game opened up and uh, unfortunately we didn't lock in a couple of our corners and those quick breaks killed us. I had the decision of the, of the judge that she understands that it's not a normal business. It's not a business you don't buy land here. This is a club, that there is fans behind the club, there is players that are playing for the club, there is staff. So they need to think about this and not punish the people that don't need to punish and the club. I have a feeling that the club uh, will stay and they will find a way what, uh, what to do.